guys, it's Dr. Dan coming at you here from Townhouse Solutions. I just wanted to do a quick video today about how to use heat in acute and subacute injury management. So how to use heat when you hurt yourself right away and how to use heat when you hurt yourself after a little while. Um, essentially, heat is, is uh, kind of a, a newer approach to how to handle uh, acute injuries or injuries that just happen, like a, a fresh injury, I guess you'd call it. Um, and we use an acronym called MEF, which stands for Movement, Elevation, Traction, and Heat. And the idea is, is that the heat component of this, when you're dealing with a acute injury, something like a ankle sprain or uh, a sprained joint or a uh, pulled muscle, that type of thing, is that the heat will improve the blood flow. And with more blood comes more nutrients and your blood also carries with it like the, the certain types of healing cells that you need in an area in order to repair the injury. So more blood means better healing. Uh, heat often will not make a fresh injury feel better. So it doesn't do a lot for pain control per se, uh, which is dissimilar to ice. Ice is pretty good for pain control, but heat is really good for healing. Uh, the other, the other kind of barrier to this, as opposed to the RICE acronym that's used, rest, ice, rest, ice, compression, elevation, is uh, movement and traction as opposed to rest and compression. So the idea is is that by keeping a joint moving, you're going to help pump some of the uh, some of the swelling out of the joint and make room for uh, new new edema, I guess. So so fresh fluid to get into the area that's swollen. Uh, which your your edemic reaction is your body's way of bringing healing cells to that area. So while it's good to control it, you don't want to go like crazy. You don't want you know you don't want an ankle the size of a of a basketball or anything like that. Um, it's also good to have some inflammation so that the the joint or the tissue heals faster. Uh, so that's where the movement comes in. Keep it moving. Uh, and then elevation again, you can kind of, it's a very subtle way of controlling the, uh, the flow of the fluid down on, I'm talking about an ankle important to my wrist, but, uh, it's, it's a subtle way of controlling, uh, the amount of fluid that can pool in a limb, especially if your lymphatic system is not doing, uh, what it should, if it's not draining really quickly, um, it can pull down. Uh, so holding it up higher than your heart allows for that fluid to kind of use gravity to drain. Um, and traction is just loading the tissue in a longitudinal fashion, uh, which is generally very tolerable and tissue heals best when there's load applied to it. Uh, so when you sprain an ankle or a wrist or any, any kind of a ligament, uh, the healing of that ligament, because a sprain is basically a, a small tear in the ligament. Um, even though we use tear to denote something that's much bigger, but a, a normal ankle roll is a small tear in the ligament. And when that ligament heals, it heals with like what we call a scab. So it's a very crisscrossed, uh, oogly boogly, uh, collagen fibers. And when you start to load those collagen fibers by tractioning the joint or tractioning the ankle or, or some gentle stretching, that type of thing, um, what can go on is those fibers will start to load in more of a directional fashion rather than crisscross applesauce. And what goes on there is that makes the ligament much stronger. It makes the tissue much stronger afterwards. Uh, so essentially when you're using heat in an acute injury scenario, you're gonna wanna kinda do the same thing that we do with ice, which is like a 10-10-10 protocol. So 10 minutes of ice, or excuse me, 10 minutes of heat, uh, 10 minutes off, 10 minutes of heat again. Although if you find it tolerable, you can leave the heat on for a little while longer. Um, it, there's no, there's no hard, fast and steady principle here. I run what I like to call the hedonistic school of rehab, which is if it feels good, do it. Um, so if you put heat on it and it feels really good to keep it heated up, then keep the tissue heated up. It's, it's going to make it more supple. It's going to help the blood flow, like I said, and it's going to help it heal a little quicker. Same thing if you hurt yourself, you know, maybe a week or two ago and, you know, your shoulder's still sore, your neck's still sore, put some heat on it. That heat is going to help keep the tissue supple. And when the tissue is supple, it's going to move a lot better. Uh, so that is heat, my friends. If you have any questions about that, feel free to give us a call at the clinic. We can always talk about kind of the, the thing you should be doing until you get a chance to see us. Uh, feel free to reach out via Facebook, Instagram. Uh, leave a message. Go to the website, www.townhealthsolutions.com. Uh, we have a little, like, ask us a question box in the bottom of the website. Uh, and we'll kind of go from there. If, if you want to reach out, we'd love to hear from you. All right. Much love, friends. Have a great day.